Here we have Tech Team's number 839 Sawtooth Picture Hanger Set. It consists of 25 of these sawtooth picture hangers, 50 appropriate size screws, and a reusable storage box. The sawtooth hanger has two mounting holes, then it has three V-shaped notches. The center notch is marked with a dimple. In order to get the picture to hang exactly level, you want to have the dead center of the picture lined up with the center notch. Here we have a lightweight mirror that we picked up at Walmart, and it probably weighs about a pound and a half or two pounds. We like to point out the weight because the weight is a consideration, and we'll get into that a uh, little bit further on here. The width of this mirror is exactly 16 inches, so we're going to put a mark at 8 inches. Now this is the center of our frame based on measurement, but it may not be the center of the frame based on balance. Therefore, we want to do a little exercise just to back check, make sure that our mark is in exactly the right spot and the true center of this picture according to balance. So we just want to lift it up and let it hang like this. And if it hangs level, then we know that the mark we put here is exactly at the balance center of the picture frame. Now we want to put our sawtooth right here in the frame where our mark is and make sure that the dimple on the sawtooth is aligned with the center of the frame. Next step is to hold that in place and mark where our holes are. A little suggestion here, especially if the frame is wood and it's old, is to not start just to work the screw into the wood. What you want to do is make a couple pilot holes first. This way you can avoid splitting the wood. Now you see the center mark and you also see the two marks we made where we're going to make the pilot holes to anchor our screws. There are two ways to make pilot holes. Number one, you can use an awl like this. The only drawback to an awl is that the, uh, the tip is tapered, so you're going to get a tapered hole, number one. And number two, you may not be able to get it to exactly the correct size because of the taper of the, uh, of the shank. The best option is a power drill with a small bit. In this case, we've selected a 5 32nds inch bit, and this will make holes just about the right size. The key point is you don't want to drill too deep. The suggestion for when you're making your pilot holes is to put a piece of tape on the drill bit at exactly the depth that you want to drill so you don't make your hole too deep. If you make the hole too deep, you're going to go through and it's going to come out on the face of the frame and that's not going to look too good. So now we drill our pilot holes. The frame is upside down here so naturally the teeth on the uh, sawtooth have to face down. Now it's just a matter of tightening our screws and we'll be good to go. Now the sawtooth is attached to the frame and we're ready to hang either our picture or our mirror. You may have heard me mention weight before. And the reason we mention that is simply because the weight that your hanger can support, even though the hanger may say 10, 20, 30, 50 pounds, is going to be no more than what you attach it to. In other words, the condition of the components and structural integrity of the studs and the drywall and the picture frame are important factors to consider when you're hanging something. Your basic wall is constructed from vertical 2x4 studs spaced 16 inches on center. Then the drywall is fastened to this with appropriate drywall screws. If your wall is in good condition, you can take this little mirror we have just demonstrated and you can hang that just about any place in this wall. On the other hand, if you have something that's substantially heavier, the best approach is to mount it directly over a stud or very close to a stud. 